Hello, I'm Lisbeth Melendez Palma. In this video, it's go it's for sociology class, and today we will discuss changes in today's society, importance, perspective, and revolution on development nations, change under more modernizations, and the types of social movements that have occurred in, the, in today's history. Changes to technology, social institutions, population, and the environment alone or in some combination create change to our society. Improving technologies has made our lives easier. Imagine your day without the internet, the automobile, or electricity. Technology is a driven force behind globalization, while the other forces of social changes, social institutions, population, environment, play comparative mi minor roles Three distinct, distinctive periods. First, globalization was driven by military expansion powered by horsepower and wind power. Second, consisted of globalizing economy. Steam and rail power were the guiding forces of social changes and globalization in this period. Third, change is driven by technology, particularly the internet. Consider that technology can create change in the other three forces social scientists link to social changes. People today walk around with their head tilted towards a small device held in their hands, which is the phone. People in develop, developed societies now take communication technology for granted. Thanks to the web, digital crowdsourcing is a process of obtaining needed services, ideas, or content by so so soliciting contributions from a large group of people, and especially from an online community rather than from traditional employees or suppliers. Perhaps the most striking use of crowdsourcing is disaster relief. By tracking tweets and emails and organic and org Organizing the data in order of urgency and quant quantity relief agencies can address the most urgent calls for help, such as for medical aid, food, shelter, or rescue. Unfortunate, cyberbullying represents a powerful change in modern society. Cyberbullying is especially the fu future of the Internet. Electronic aggression is that it can happen 24 hours a day, every day. It can reach a child or an adult. Messages and images may be posted an anonymously and to a very wide audience, and they might even be impossible to track, to trace. Finally, once posted, the text and images are very hard to delete. Its effects range from the it affects range from the use of alcohol and drugs to lower self-esteem, health problems, and even suicide. Now let's discuss population and society. Population composition is changing at every level of society. Births increase in one nation and decrease in another. Advances in medical technology allow otherwise infertility women to be to bear child which indirectly leads to an increase in population. Some families delay childbirth, while others start bringing children into their, into their fold elder, early. Regardless of why and how it happens, population trends have a tremendous interrelated, interrelated impact on all other aspects of society. Social changes occur globally. Often, the countries with highest fertility rates are least able to absorb and attend to the needs of growing population. Family planning is a large step in ensuring that families are not burdened with more children than they can care for. On a macro level, the increased population, particularly in the 
poorest part of the globe also leads to increased stress on the planet resources. Turning to human ecology, we know that individuals in the environment affect each other. As human population move into more vulnerable areas, we see an increase in the number of people affected by natural disasters, and we see that human interaction with the environment increases the impact of those disasters. Part of this is simply the numbers. The more people there are on the planet, the more likely it is that some will affect by a natural disaster. Climate storms, social erosions, earthquakes, floods, droughts, etc. deficiently affect social life and include social changes and, and induce social changes. But physical environment is an important factor which deeply affects social life. Still, it cannot be re regarded as the only factor responsible for the growth of human society. The four key elements that affect social changes, environment, technology, social institution, and population. There are numerous and varied causes of so social change. Four common causes are recognized by social scientists, are technology, social institution, population, and the environment. All four of these areas can impact when and how society changes, and they are all inter interrelated. A change in one area can lead to change through throughout. How do we implement changes in our society? If we see something we think is wrong, how do we address it? A social environment revolution is a fundamental change in society. It involves a shift in power in a society. Revolution occurs when number of people in society feels disconnected with the current order and agree that change is necessary. When we stop wanting to live the way we're living, or if we stop believing in the le legitimacy of our current social or politi political order, we may turn to revolution. It's important to know that revolution is different than re reform, which seeks to change a small part of an existing system. But ultimately, keep, in, keep it in place. Revolution seeks to overthrow this whole system. Revolution can bring about important social, political, and economic changes. There are a number of things that can cause a revolution to occur. For one thing, revolution might happen when a state is no longer functioning well. In other words, when a government is weak and an opportunity arises for revolutionaries to seize on this shift in culture can also cause revolutionary changes. Sometimes citizens begin to feel troubled by dominant culture, values, or norms, and this can bring about changes. One example of this in the United States is the sexual revolution. During this time, we saw issues like birth control, birth control, and women's sexuality discussed much more openly and with less judgment than previous areas. Revolution will always be part of life on earth, whether it be for the good or to the bad. That is just that is just the way to come across an issue to figure the best outcome. More modernization is a typical result of social change. Modernization refer refers to the process of increased differentiation, differentiation and special a specialization within a society, particularly around its industry and infra infrastructure. Well, this assumes that more modern societies are better. Advances in agriculture technology have allowed us to genetically, genetically alter and patent food products, which changes our environment in innumerable ways. From the way we educate children in the classroom to the way we grow the food we eat. Technology has impacted all aspects of modern life. 
Modernization is a term used for the transition from the traditional society of the past to the modern society, society as it is found today in the West. Modernization or development theory presents the idea that by introducing modern methods in technology, agriculture, product production for trade and industrialization depends on a mobile labor force. The, under, the underdeveloped countries will experience a strengthening in their economies. There were many pro proponents of modernization theory, such as Walter Rostron, Lewis, Talcott Parson, and Daniel Lerner. Of, they all felt that the rest of the world needed to to look to the Western modern of mod modernity and pattern their society like West in order to progress. Modernization is a progressive, progressive process which in the long run is not only inevitable but desirable. desirable. Modernization is a lengthening process. It is an evolutionary change, not a revolutionary one. Let's discuss the type of social movements we already discussed revolutionary. A social movement is a persistent and organized effort involving the mobilization of a of large number of people to work together to either bring about what they believe to be beneficial social change or resist or reverse what they believe to be harmful social change. Social movements are among among the, mo the most dramatic events the world has e ever known. The United States has experienced great movements such as the abolition movement to end slavery in the 19th century, the women's su su suffrage movement to win the vote for women in the 19th, 19th and early 20th century, in the civil rights movement in 1950s and 1960s to end racial discrimination. Along with certain national ele election campaigns, social movements have become the most important collect collective forces for bringing about change in country's history. An, in an innovative li liberal movement intended to introduce something new with regard to culture Patterns of behavior, politics, policies, policies, or institutions. For example, a liberal movement exists to legalize marijuana. A conservative movement has the goal of maintaining things the way they are, resisting change. Such as the movement to prevent legalization of marijuana where it remains illegal. A recreation re, re, reactionary movement seeks to resurrect cultural elements, patterns of behavior, or institutions of the past. Bring back to the good old days. An example will be a movement that wants to return to banning same sex marriage. A reform movement called for change in patterns of behavior, culture, or policy, but does not try to replace entire social institutions. Support, supporters of reinforcement movement, movement appeal to poli, policymakers attempt to elect candidates and sometimes bring cases before counts to achieve their goals. Movements involving if involving civil rights, women's rights, sexual orientation, and the rights of people with disabilities all call for accepted by the large culture to ensure equal access to all social institutions, but do not aim to replace them. A revolutionary movement, in contrast, aims to bring about great structural change by replacing one or more major social institution. In the eighth 18th century, the American Revolution succeeded in changing the political system of the original 13 colonies by 
freeing colonists from British monarchies, monarch, mon, monarchical control, control, and creating a democratic form of government. In the late 18th century and er, early 19th century, the French Revolution ended a monarchy and established a republic. Social movement can also be classified in other ways. The major goal of an identity movement is to spread understanding of mechanisms of dominant, including culture elements such as progressive language to destroy debilitation, stereotypes, ways of thinking, and talking that and talking that are the means of product to group subordination. These movements attempt to create a new identity for the oppressed op groups that provides a sen sense of empowerment, pride, self-confidence, and equality, and also actively confront the large public norms, belief, behaviors, and ways of thinking, identity movement developed among persons who perceive themselves to be target of discrimination based on an increased as, as characterism such as race, nationality, physical characteristics, gender, sexual orientation, or other fixed traits. For example, the feminist movement attacked the traditional view of women as lacking the intelligence, will emotional stability or toughness to successfully per participate in all areas of life by focusing attention on women who have made great achievements in politics, science, and business. These new social movements were concerned with nor moral and quality of life issues and the establishment of new collective identities. Alternative movements aim to change a single type of behavior. For example, the, temp the temperance movement of the 19th and early 20th century, similar in focus to today's an anti-drug movement, tried to convince people not to drink alcohol because of suspect links to the child and disposal abuse, other violent crimes, and social ills. Redemptively movement in, intended to bring about a more total transformation of the individual by encouraging people to adopt a new moral religious outlook that will affect a wide range of personal behavior. Examples, including religion, rev revivalized or fundamentalist movement that demand a deeper demonstration of commitment to the faith. Trans transnational movement are active in more than one country. Examples, including the women's environmental and human rights movement and movements promptly democratic democracy. There are a number of different social movements which it is useful to study to again inspiration and ideas. To gain inspiration and ideas. In the, in the long run, the whole idea is to build a civilization that can thrive on this planet without destroying it. Thank you for tuning into my YouTube video. Until the next time.